<laughs> Try to make sure everybody can see me. So, forgive my uh, dishevelment. Um, I know I don't look good <laughs> right now. I've been working nonstop on this Reiki course. Oh my God. And um, I'm finally done with it. So, um, I just finished it a little bit ago. And uh, finished typing everything up. Finished adding the finishing touches. It's got some pictures in there. Um, it's four, I think, four PDFs. It's four PDFs. They all come together. It's all four levels that I took. Level one, level two, uh, master and teacher. So, and then the owning, and then the tips on how to open your own business um, is in there as well. Um, the business part, you know, can be kind of easy. It's not as tricky as people think it is. You know, my suggestion would just be, you know, if you want, make sure you get some kind of insurance, get a business license, get a IE number from the IRS and shit like that. You know, just the usual, uh, usual kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, the Reiki thing, the, it, this can really be life changing for you if you feel stuck in any way whatsoever. Um, if you feel like you just have a string of bad luck, if you're not happy with yourself, if you feel sluggish, you know, physical energy wise, um, there's just so many ways that this can help you just clear things up. And it's just such a good thing to have. It's such a good thing to know. And it's not difficult. A lot of people who um, do Reiki might give off the impression that um, you have to be a certain type of person to be able to do it or, uh, you know, that it's limited to um, who can join the ranks and do Reiki or whatever. And that's not true. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. And that's like one of the foundation things. And the reason for that is because um, Master Yusui, he wanted to use something or have some kind of a method um, or modality that wasn't, that didn't have any restrictions, you know, that didn't, didn't have any um, religious ties or anything like that. So there's no rules here with Reiki. There's things that are suggested, you know, that have been discovered over time through use and things like that, but there's no um, gatekeeping as they call it, you know, don't let anybody micromanage you or anything like that when you're doing this kind of thing because you have to do what feels right. This is about intuition. The Reiki thing, that's in the divine feminine um, arena. And that means you, you follow your intuition, you follow what feels right. And that can't be micromanaged by somebody else, whether they've been doing it longer or not. You know, some things, some suggestions maybe, you know, but you have to go by your own experience and it's different for each person. That's why nobody can correct every little thing you do when you're doing something. So that's one thing um, that you uh, need to remember. <laughs> um, Jogi, Jogendra Singh, uh, you, you're not going to um, marry me because I don't know who the hell you are. And also you're not prepared for this. Um, <laughs> So, uh, I'm just, this is, I'm do, recording on Facebook and on Instagram at the same time. And, um, he, he, with as bad as I look right now, this, you know, but that, it's a, it doesn't matter. It never does. But anyway, um, so the Reiki course, um, let me, I'm going to read, maybe I could read a little bit to you as soon as I find the mouse. What the hell? Oh, it's not moving. Okay. There it goes. I wonder if it'll still record even if I, um. If I minimize the window, would it still... Well, no, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I could do this. <clears throat> so I'm afraid of messing up my, my Facebook thing. Will it still record me? Okay. Hang on. Let me... It, I might go away for a second. Hold on. Um... Okay. I'm going to open these documents.
Okay. Am I still on the screen? Yeah, okay. Um, so like in, in level one, for example, I start with um, the history and um, just a little bit about Master Yusui's like early life. I didn't put a whole, whole lot about him, mainly because it's not a biography, but also because there are some stories floating around about him that may or may not be true and we're not really sure. And I didn't want to throw in the stuff that we weren't sure about because I don't, it, I don't want to promote something that, that, uh, you know, might, might've been part of his life story, might not have been, you know, there's no use in, in pushing that around if, uh, we're not sure. So I left, you know, I left out some of the entertaining stuff, but you know, um, provable stuff nonetheless. Um, I didn't want to clog it up with that. Um, I added um, a couple of pictures, a picture of him, a couple of his cronies, um, the Japanese American lady who brought it back to the U.S. Um, I think she also went to Hawaii at some point. I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> of course, the, the precepts, the principles, just for today, I will not be angry. I will not worry. I will be thankful. Um, I will uh, do what I'm meant to do and, and be kind to others. You know, just like basic ideas like that, just to kind of get you through the day. And you can just do baby steps with simple stuff like that. That's a good thing, um, for lack of a better way to put it, about Asian stuff uh, sometimes is that, you know, a lot of their stuff, you, you can just keep it simple and it, and it, and it simplifies your life and it's so beautiful because like you just quit worrying about shit when you just like do the baby step thing and that is really helpful and people laugh at that like oh that's not you know that we got to be more we got to be way ahead we got to be farther ahead than that these days you know there's got to be more to it not really not all the time with as messy as modern life is sometimes coming back to basics is a is the right thing to do because like everything else is so damn complicated and um i think one of my favorite parts about the course actually also i'll show you the hand positions as well um one of my favorite parts about the course actually i think is in um level two well anyway it's in level two <clears throat> and um it's about the chakras and the um uh the aura, which is, which comprises of a series of fields that are around you, like your energetic fields of different types. And, um, it's a lot, so I'm not going to go into the whole thing right now, but, um, that I think is valuable to know because if you're doing energy healing, why would you do, I mean, you can skip the, the auric field. Like if you, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a professional of that or whatever, but to me, why would you do the chakras and then um, not do the fields on the outside? You know, like to me, those go together, or at least they could. Um, so I like to look at doing the chakras, clearing that up, clearing up blockages, etc., and then um, getting those spinning really well. And then um, also, you can, of course, comb the outer fields. Um, cleanse those fix holes and tears and things like that but you have to really with practice you'll get better and better at um sensing where those holes and tears are and um and you'll get really good at it and you can tell where there's uh, leakages and and um just shit like that you know that's that's not helpful you'll pick up on all that stuff you just have to keep doing it and you just have to, and, and really relax another point that i made in the last in the very last section of the whole course was that, you know, people, um, especially new students, you know, they stress a lot about, um, trying to feel what they're doing, trying so hard to feel what they're doing. You don't have to try to feel what you're doing. You have to, um, uh, it's advised in a way that you trust yourself, trust the process, trust what you're doing and, um, trust that the self treatments you've done for yourself were good enough and thorough enough and and sincere enough that you took good enough care of yourself that you are now a good enough vessel to be doing what you're doing you know because people don't take care of themselves and they turn around and try to take care of other people and it's like you can't do it you know um that don't don't do that to yourself <clears throat> if you're having a day where um 
you know, you've got too much to do, you've got too many errands to run, you've got other shit you need to do, whatever other responsibilities, don't schedule four or five damn Reiki treatments that day, distance or in person. Don't do that to yourself because you're, you're wearing yourself out and you're not going to be, you know, at the, uh, you're not going to be at the quality you need to be at to help these people. This is energy work. You know, this isn't just giving them, the doctor can just give you a pill and tell you to get out of there, you know, and his job is done. Energy work is different. That, that takes, it can take it out of you, even though you are quote unquote, just uh, a vessel, um, actually being a vessel is hugely important. But, you know, even though you are just the vessel for the most part, um, you know, it, everybody needs a break. And um, so don't wear yourself out. And you've got some people, and I have seen this, I have seen this. <laughs> you've got some people who actually have the nerve, <laughs> have the temerity to brag about um, not needing to recharge or rest or whatever in between treatments or in between attunements or whatever. And that's horseshit. Everyone needs, you know, to, to take a break in between. And, um, you know, anybody that says they don't have to doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> well, they're probably just trying to seem like they're, you know, big and bad and that's not how it works. You know, you have to recharge. So, um, don't let anyone tell you that, that, you know, that that's probably the same person that will tell you that they've already learned everything and they don't have to learn anything else and they already know how to do everything and shit like that. And I don't like people like that. <laughs> so, um, you know, just ignore them. Don't, don't let anyone make you feel like you're doing it wrong or, uh, that you've got to follow some certain set of guidelines. If you want to, you know, get some books. If, I mean, get, get, get a book on uh, Master Yusui and, and what, you know, information we can get about his life and, and his take on things. I think there is like a level that's kind of different that was real specific with him that he did. Um, I think it's called Shinpiden. Shinpiden. I sort of suck with some of the Japanese words. I'm not going to lie, but it's like, I know what it is. It's just uh, saying some of the words <clears throat> um, I, I struggle with, but, um, because the syllables are so different, but, um, hang on. Okay, so, um, and that level is supposed to be something that was just, like, specifically for students that he handpicked that were, like, just of a different tribe, you know, like, just a different level. So, if you want to find something on that, you know, and study that, you totally could, um, you know, if you wanted to narrow it down. But besides that, there's no, like, hardcore set of rules where you have to do this and you can't, you're not allowed to do that, blah, blah, This You're channeling divine source. You're channeling the source energy that created everything that we look at. There's no, there can't be restrictions in that because why? Why would there be? But who's, who's rules? Who's rules? You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't put human rules on, on divine shit. It's like, How? You know, if so all of a sudden the divine has to squeeze itself into these little set of, you know, uh, do's and don'ts that, you know, somebody in California came up with in 2007, like, uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. So don't let anybody try to micromanage you like that. Trust yourself. Trust what you're doing. Quit trying to focus on feeling the shit and just let it happen. This is where you have to really get in touch with the feminine divine because that is intuition going with the flow, letting it happen, letting the essence or the power be demonstrated and experienced and manifested through you. You know, like for example, people say um, a man can buy a house, but a woman turns it into a home, blah, 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 that kind of thing. That, yes, but that's the idea. She is there to the Divine Feminine is there to uh, take what's there and make it even better. And so that's what you're doing. You're taking, you're the channel. You're taking it and you're putting it into somebody and it's turning into a healing modality, a healing process that makes that person feel better about themselves and about life. And, you know, you can't put um, restrictions on that shit. You can't put, you know, a list of uh, ultimatums and shit like that. You know, leave the military stuff out of it and 
just let it be. <laughs> let it do what it wants to do because the Reiki energy is going to do what it wants to do anyway. It knows where to go. Once you put it in there, it's going to lead you because you're going to put your hands in certain places and it'll feel fine. And then you put your hands in other places and, it, and it'll, you'll feel like a clog or something. And you need to stay there until the Reiki does its thing. And then it will tell you, okay, this is cleared out. You can move on. And that's how that goes. You know, you don't, you don't tell it what to do. It tells you what to do, you know, and that's any, and that's being any kind of a vessel or a medium. You got people that, um, <clears throat> talk to the dead and shit like that, or, or, what, or, or channel, you know, uh, other entities from other dimensions. And you don't tell the entity what to do. The damn entity tells you what's up. That's the whole point. You know, you're going to sit there and, and let it happen because that's all you can do because you're not in charge, <laughs> you know, to, to an extent, you're not in charge and you have to kind of keep that in mind, you know, and be a little bit humble when, when you're doing this shit, because that's what it's about. <clears throat> um, you, when you choose to, to get into Reiki and get into this line of work, you are choosing to go into service. You know, you're not choosing to, it's not, uh, you, you, you know, we're not all competing to, to get, um, you know, uh, five-star general status so we can swing it around in everyone's face you know that's not that's not what this is for this is service this is uh, humble and it's taking care of people and it's um, raising the the collective vibration of the whole world you know you can't um, be swinging it in people's faces and laying down the law and shit like that you know save all that save the soldier stuff for some other shit because this ain't it you know what I mean so don't let anybody do that to you um, this course is like, it's real thorough. It really is. I put a lot in here. I put a lot of shit about the chakras in here. Um, it's got some good stuff about the history, but not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot like in the history, in the historical part. Um, and like I say, I didn't want to put in too many stories that, you know, we weren't entirely sure about. So that, that kind of stuff, I sort of, sort of left that part out. Um, I've got some good details for the teachers um, and for attunement, when you attune your students, okay, so sometimes, because people are under the impression, because they don't understand what, what, they don't understand all the aspects of the healing process, well, no one understands all the aspects, because we're all here to learn, but I mean, one of the idea, one of the things about healing is that sometimes the shit doesn't feel good, and the reason it doesn't feel good when someone is doing a positive thing for you like laying on hands or doing Reiki or um, doing breath work with you or uh, or yoga or whatever, you know, tapping, whatever it is you want to do. Sometimes the shit doesn't feel good because the person you're working with is used to um, feeling shitty. And if they're used to feeling shitty and then all of a sudden you do something for them that's real, real, real good and they're not accustomed to feeling real, real, real good. In a way, it's going to kind of hurt them a little bit. Not not hurt them, but I mean, it's going to feel hurtful. It might not feel good. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, um, this is like when people go to therapy and then they get in there and then the therapist, uh, and then they cry through the whole session. The therapist does nothing but make them cry through the whole session. They're in, they're still doing their healing process and they're getting what they need. It's just they're upset, so now they're crying all the time in the in the therapy session. But they're still healing. It's just that they've hit a spot that doesn't feel good because they're not used to delving into it and they're not used to exploring it. So, <clears throat> or um, somebody who uh, is uh, sitting on the sofa all the time, and then all of a sudden you you jerk them up and you take them to the gym for an hour, and they're about to collapse. <laughs> They're, what they're doing, the gym is a good thing, and it's it's going to help them in the long run. But, you know, because they're not used to doing something that's good for them in that way, uh, it kind of feels bad. <laughs> and they're throwing up in the bathroom, you know, um, because they're, they're not used to vibrating at that particular level. So sometimes after Reiki attunements, um, you know, the, the students m might feel, especially if you're dealing with somebody who... Um, has a lot of depression or anxiety or some some um, PTSD that hasn't hasn't totally been addressed you know um, uh, that might be coming to the surface that might start to come up to the surface because there it's something that hasn't been dealt with and the attunement 
comprises of a couple of things, but one of them is the cleanse. So obviously anybody you're going to deal with, you got to cleanse them first and get that shit out of there before you can plug in anything else, right? It's got to come out. So um, when you do the cleanse, all that stuff's coming up to the surface and, and, and then you put in the new thing that's like bigger and better and brighter. And um, that kind of shakes their world a little bit because you know they're just not used to it it's still a good thing for them they're just not accustomed to it and it's a it's a um process just getting used to um doing better or feeling better or being on a higher vibe as it were you know and shit like that so sometimes you'll even have people who call you after a reiki session like a day or two later and they'll be like i'm feeling really sad or i'm feeling really bad or such and such hurts or whatever like, what'd you do to me well, I brought it to the surface so it can come out. That's what I did. It's coming out of you. And there's something you need to deal with that you are being faced with now that's coming out. It's cleansing. It's the, it's the cleanse. You're getting the cleanse, which is part of the deal. You know, that's part of the deal. If you want to ascend or go to your next level in any way whatsoever, you have to cleanse some shit out. And that's just part of it. That's just part of it. You know, there, there's no, you can't dance around that. You cannot dance around that. There's no way to get around that. That is part of the deal. Because all, because the, the shit you're holding on to, you have to let go of. You just have to let go. And, um, and that's, there is no getting around that. So, um, and there's a lot, there's so much I could go over on this thing, really. But I mean, like, I don't want to keep you here too long. <laughs> But anyway, what I'm saying is the course is thorough. The course is thorough. The first three PDFs are like 10 or 11 pages a piece. And then the last PDF, I think, is six or seven pages. And <clears throat> there's a few pictures, but not a whole lot. It, it is mostly text. And I know I had originally said I was considering doing a video with it, accompanying videos. But, I mean, I don't know. Everything that I explained in the text is pretty much, is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy to understand. So, um, I chose at the end, you know, not to do the videos. I was, I, I was, uh, I, I think what I said in the text was pretty clear and, um, and, and detailed, you know, quite well enough. So I kind of left it at that. Um, if I make any changes to it later, you know, anyone who's bought the course would get the update automatically. And then, you know, the update, it, the news of the update would be published so that any new buyers would know that it was, you know, a, a, like a new version. So I would, I would keep up with all that if I, if I did ever decide to add videos to it for whatever reason. Um, but I probably won't because once I put something out there, I like to kind of leave it the way it is just to keep the confusion down, you know, because I don't want, I'm trying to keep things simple for everybody, you know what I mean? Um, but like I say, you know, any kind of energy work like this is it's so huge because it's so life-changing because you learn so much about yourself you learn so much about yourself and you learn so much about how to look at the world and um what i like about uh, the chakra session section especially was um which i think is in the master level um there is this idea that people, once they get to the third eye chakra, they don't realize it, but once they get to the third eye chakra, they kind of, once they get to that like level of enlightenment, as it were, they, they sort of get stuck there and they think that being at peace is the ultimate level, you know, and you've reached your final form is, you know, being at peace with um, yourself and the world at large and shit like that. But it really, they got stuck there because the next level that they're supposed to get to, if they were such if they were so enlightened, would be the crown chakra, which, um, you know, the thousand petal lotus, which would be um, ecstasy. <clears throat> and um, that is the uh, ultimate level, uh, if, if you will, of um, being enlightened because you're, you're just feeling pure joy and bliss no matter what's going on. You know, nothing can stop you kind of thing. And that is the idea, you know, um, at least in the, in the philosophy with the chakras. So, um, I like to liken it to Odin because, uh, Odin's name means, you know, uh, ecstasy. So, 
you know, or like a chaotic uh, bliss. And it's the same kind of thing. So he's reached his final level in that way. You know, that's a, that would be a good example of that. Um, for anyone who's in the club. <laughs> um, and it, But anyway, that's, um, that's the basics. The laptop battery is about to die, so I actually do have to go. But um, I wanted to at least get that out there so that y'all could like get a little bit of details on the course but it's real fucking good it, the shit's thorough i'm very plain and straightforward with things um i give you a lot of information like i say you're getting stuff about the chakras the um uh the aura field the etheric body all this kind of shit you got pictures you got the hand placements you got the explanations for all the symbols what to do with each symbol what, you know what symbol is good for what how to do your attunement how to do your business you know um uh, what to do with your students, how to put together your course if you want to do that. And th that part's easy. Don't let yourself get stressed out about like how to put together your course and shit. You, that, that will come, you know, as it, as it will. So don't, don't worry about all kinds of details like that. Cause that's not the way the course looks and, and, and how you market it and how you advertise it and all this other shit. That part doesn't matter. It's what's in the course and what you're teaching and what the students are getting out of it, you know, when, when they trust you with getting knowledge from you about this shit, that's what's important. It's what's in the course. So, cause people can like do a course, put it out there, do all this fancy ass advertising. And then you buy it and you pay $400 and you buy it. And the course is like five pages and like, what the hell, you know? So that <laughs> the way it looks and the way it's packaged is fine. But you know, to me, the focus ought to be on what's in it, which is why mine is like 30-something pages. Because <laughs> it's a lot. But I wanted it to be a lot because it should be. Because I think people should have, if they're going to go into, you know, energy healing of any kind, they ought to have a damn clear-ass understanding of what the hell they're getting into. You know, oh, you're interested in this? Okay, well, look, here's all the fucking details. You may as well know all of it. You know, and I'd rather just do that and be thorough. I believe in being thorough. I'm a Taurus. I don't have gray areas. I do not have gray areas. <laughs> People can't stand Tauruses because, you know, we're, we're so, it's one or the other, you know. But hell, <clears throat> if you want to learn something, you want to learn how to do it, you want to learn how to, I don't want to say the right way because that implies that I'm saying that I'm doing it the right way. There's yes and no, but you know, that also is is left up to you to decide how you want to do it. But I mean, cause I've, I've seen, I, I, I mean, take my word for it, please. I have seen Reiki courses in the past that, um, did not have shit in there in, in the pages about any, uh, anything I mentioned, especially the, the part about the auric field and the, and the bot and the energetic bodies and the layers of shit that come out from you. Cause your energetic body comes out like all the, like all together. It's like 10 feet out from you. So you're just about always blended in with somebody, you know, it's just, you're not aware of it. Cause that's the, that's the higher vibrational bodies that are like farther away from you. You're not in touch with them yet. But, um, you know, there's a, there's a, it, when I say it's jam packed, I mean, it's jam packed. You're going to get every course I put online. It's going to be a hundred bucks. Oh, fuck. My battery's going. I got to hurry this up. <laughs> I got to hurry this up. But, um, it, you know, all my courses I put out are going to be a hundred bucks, but I'm trying to make it a hundred dollars worth. So to me, that's a pretty good price considering everything that's in there and the time it took for me to put everything together, word it the way I wanted to word it, put the right pictures in there and like put enough info, you know, for you to feel like, uh, you know, you know what you're doing and I, I want you to feel that way. And I want you to be able to see that you can trust yourself with this and, and trust your process and um you know not critique yourself or limit yourself or any of that shit no no none of that there's no room for that here there's no room for the limited shit in in something like this so um that's what i so um i'll have to leave it at that because this thing's about to die but <laughs> um that's my basic info for the reiki course i'm telling you it's good i was seeing as how i made it you know i, I wouldn't necessarily uh tell you it wasn't good but <laughs> like I'm just saying it's it, it's a lot of info um and you know I had a I had an excellent teacher um and I went through Melissa Crowhurst and she's unbelievable so I mean I had I've, I've 
did a little bit here and there with some other people as well. But, you know, if anyone's curious, I'm, mainly I went through her. But she's, Melissa is fantastic. Um, so, <clears throat> the, the info is good. The shit's thorough. You're going to know some shit when you're done with this course. I'll do your attunement for you. I can schedule that at a certain time if you want. You know, um, we'll make it work. And, um, like I said, I take all different forms of payment and shit. So, you know, whatever, whatever feels good to you, just let me know and we'll work it out so you can get this course and you can have your certificate and you can go into business and you can teach others and do the shit I'm doing and we'll get you square the fuck away. So that's it for the info. And, um, I hope that was helpful and this thing's about to die. So I got to go, but, um, thank you for listening and, um, and, you know, sticking through sticking through this with me and um for even requesting it for me because I, I hadn't even thought of doing it until people start talking about it. i was like eh, maybe i should do this so um thank you to the people who suggested it to me to start with thank you um that was a huge step for me and it was something different and i really 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 appreciate it because like it opened me up a lot and i want to say thank you for that so um i gotta go but um thank you for everything and i hope y'all enjoy it